Fisher folk across East Burbese quarantine region six are expected to start receiving a 150,000 relief grant by July. This was announced by Vice President Dr. Barra Jagdio during a recent meeting with fishermen in the region. Additionally, the PPPC administration continues to work to ensure that Guyanese fishermen plying the Suriname's waters will receive their official license. I spoke with several persons from the industry to ascertain their views on these government interventions. The 150. So, as a fisherman, as a boat owner, we're very grateful for this one, $150,000. We as fishermen was going through a very tough time for the past couple of months. And with this one fifty, dollars we're going to buy something for the house, we're going to do a little repairs, we're going to put aside a little thing one side. And, um, and it's a very good gesture, and we do thank the government for doing this for us. So I'm here with Anand from Number 66 Village. Now, Anand, how long have you been in the fishing industry? Like 26 years now. Okay. So uh, you heard about the 150, one off grant from government. What do you think about that? Well, for us, I want to thank the government, everybody in the parliament, and everybody what the president have going around to do this job. I want to give the praise and thanks to them for us. I doesn't want anything from the money, but the money would be support my children. Okay. And I want to thank the government for that. Do you think government is, is, is working towards one Guyana and bringing people together, making sure everybody benefits? Yes, that's a must because that is what I'm seeing. And I appreciate that from the government. During the pandemic, it really affected us because we couldn't fish in. The market, the, can't, the, the, the trade market went closed, no canter was buying. Then people were afraid to go out in the market to purchase fish. So we find it a very, very difficult time. And with this 150,000 cash grant that the president announced, it will help us a lot. Because us here at Fisherman, some of us who loans, we got bills to pay, you know, those kind of things. And with a high cost of living, it's really going to help us. Uh, how do you see this benefiting you as a fisher? Well, me, me get to work on this boat, I got caught the boat and benefit myself. Plus, I got buy some ration for house and stuff. Um, the Vice President would have also spoke about working with the Surinamese government to sort out the licensing issues. Uh, how do you feel about government making representation on your behalf? Well, it makes good things now. Make makes some good benefits now for us. Oh, Diane, and how long have you been fishing here in this area? For 12 years now, since I'm 12 years old. Now, um, government is giving a $150,000 one-off grant to fisher folk like you. Tell me how would that benefit you, given some of the struggles you've been dealing with? Well, it would be really good to get the 150 because for the past COVID two years, we didn't work for eight months, and it would be really good to get the 150 to help out the fishermen at the back here especially. Plus, facing the crisis with the Suriname, he's wanted to cut in the boat to two or three feet. The space is less to move about. The One well, is very good initiative and I'm going to give the government. I'm thankful because for the past three months we hoe in. We're going out there for fish and we've been getting the amount of fish. And come here experience the whole you building another account on yourself. So now you're starting at home. And since there will be a great brace at home to stack back and feed back on here. You understand? And I'm thankful that the government is so grateful to help fishermen. I'll take the money and do, if the boat got a cut, so an answer, we got to cut the boat for the license. We cut the boat and we got part of the and we got to try to hustle with the 150 tons because we need no plan for them. No, uh, Vice President would have also alluded to the Guyanese government working with the Suriname's okay. government to sort out the licensing issues with y'all. Um, how do you feel about government making representation on your behalf? Yeah, the man is trying for all the time to help us. But the idea is if you can't get through, get through. We can't, you can't, we can't do nothing. We can't kill them because they got Suriname license. They Suriname license they're using it. If the man said, I want 25 feet, you can give them 25 feet. You have to be president of the club, you can't walk farther. The man water. Now we want. Tough man, 
the, the money wasn't circulating. It was really hard. The gas went up. It was kind of hard for us. This $150,000 was not going to help a lot of fishermen. A lot. Something good for the fisherman, yeah, at least it's going to help you out in certain ways. You don't know. At least uh, for me now, that's going to help me out for put a piece of buy a land the same way because he's a young youth man, only 21 years. And me going to help them set my future properly and do something good. That is a good thing, man. I thank the president and the government, everybody, for doing something for the fisherman the same way. Now, Magnat, you're a captain. Um, tell me what you think about the 150,000 one after fisher folk like you. Well, the 100,000 I have to support my children then, because I'm a father for nine children. And normally I support my children them all the time with my money. So the little that we make sometimes, sometimes you don't even got nothing for yourself. So you got to support the kids then. Do you, do you um, tell me a little bit about what it was like uh, when things weren't as, as green as you wanted to be in the fishing industry? Well, we still had to try because there is no more job that we do. So we still have to try to do something. Even in our little nothing, we live in half of the first squad that, that the boss them are supporting me with. So this is the reason why we still have to work. Are you happy with what you see in government doing so far? I'm happy to see the government supporting a lot of people. Additionally, the PPPC administration is working to ensure Guyanese fisher folk plying their trade in Suriname's waters receive their official license. <laughs>